Hi guys, so yesterday we started a new unit and you were asked to try to determine what types of factors are important for you when you are selecting groups of friends. And most of you guys said roughly the same thing. Um, a lot of you said that you are looking for people with similar interests to you, people that you feel like you can trust. Um, some of you said that you don't like people that are loud or obnoxious. Uh, you know, we all would like a friend that's responsible, somebody that is trustworthy. So there are a lot of shared um, traits that we tend to look for when we are selecting people that we would consider to be our friends. And we also know that we have different tiers of friends. And so the people that you trust the most are going to be the people that are closest to you. Now there's a number of reasons why we need friends. Social psychology is the study of how our feelings and thoughts and perceptions of the world are influenced by how we interact with other people around us. And so we've already explored why we choose the friends that we choose. And this is one of the main goals of social psychology. A social psychologist wants to know why do we choose to surround ourselves with the people that we do and what attracted us to them in the first place. So, we use social cognition to help us understand not just how we interact with other people, but also what types of behaviors make the most sense in any given social situation. So, there's a number of reasons why psychologists have determined that we need to have friends. And one of the, those reasons is actually anxiety. So there's an old saying that says that misery loves company, and there are many very famous studies that show that people that are anxious are actually more likely to seek out companionship than people that are not anxious. There's actually a study that was done in the late 1950s by a psychologist named Stanley Schachter, and although this study is kind of weird, it really does show that people that are anxious are more likely to seek out friends. So. Uh, Schachter arranged for a number of women, uh, usually around college age, to come to his lab and they were to be participants in his experiment. And he separated the women into two groups. And one of the groups of women were greeted by a scary looking dude in a white lab coat and he identified himself with some sort of scary like foreign sounding name. And he told the women that they would be given electric shocks to study the effect of electricity on the body. And he told the woman in like a scary voice that the shocks would be extremely painful. And then he gave them like a creepy look and he, you know, told them that it's okay though, they won't cause permanent damage to your skin. And so, obviously, that first group of women were referred to as his high anxiety group. Now for the second group of women, the doctor went in and he was super friendly to them. And he told them that the shocks would produce only ticklish, tingling sensations and it wouldn't even be a big deal. These women were referred to as the low anxiety group. Now, <laughs> this doctor, this guy that they're using for the study, um, told the women that they would have to leave the lab while he set up the equipment. And then he asked them to indicate on a questionnaire whether or not they would rather wait alone in the waiting room or with other participants. And most of the women in the low anxiety group chose to just wait by themselves. But the women from the first group, however, preferred to wait with others. Thus, this particular experiment demonstrates that high anxiety or fear tends to produce a need for companionship among people. Now this study, I can't imagine how I would react if a purposefully scary looking man came out and told me with a devilish look on his face that these electric shocks would be extremely painful. Um, I might laugh, but when this study was done in the late 50s, obviously this is going to have a profound effect on these women, and I can imagine why they would want to wait with somebody else in the waiting room right? They would want somebody else to talk with about what's going to happen to them. There's a sense of comfort that's found in speaking to other people that are sharing the same experience as yourself. So another reason, in addition to trying to alleviate our anxiety, uh, 
people like to get together to reduce uncertainties about themselves. Um, have you ever noticed how after a sporting event, people will congregate and they'll ask, you know, how did I do? What did you think of my free throw? Like stuff like that. Um, it's just because people are trying to understand their performance and evaluate themselves. And that comparison helps them to kind of overcome a lot of uncertainty and insecurities that they might have. Another reason why people like to have friends um, is that it offers a support network that you need just to get through everyday life. And another reason that people tend to seek friendship is that they use friends to mediate uh, difficult scenarios that they might have with other people. So like if you're fighting with someone, you might use a friend as a mediator in that particular uh, circumstance. So today's lesson, this is super short, and I'm basically just talking to you guys a little bit about why we seek out friendship. So all I want you to do for your homework is to think about that study that I just told you about with Stanley Schachter. And if you would like to read more about it, you can do so by opening up your textbook to page 525. But the questions that I would like you to answer are, what factors in this study do you think would induce anxiety in a participant? Also, why do you think the participants would choose to wait with a companion rather than by themselves if they were in that first group? And then finally, how do you think you would react if you were a participant in this study? I would like you guys to upload your responses with the assignment link that is provided with today's lesson. You can just use a Google Doc that you create on your own and upload it. Um, some of you have been taking pictures of your work and uploading that. That's fine as well. Just respond to the three questions um, about the study that I told you about. And again, if you want to read about it for more review, you can go to page 525 in your textbook. All right, see you guys tomorrow.